You've got problems. Nice boy, deep. You've got problems. The bad road took its toll. The stabilizing arm broke loose. What are you doing? I'm gonna sleep here tonight. I'm gonna oh, MacGyver this thing, watch me. Oh, <laughs> This is what we've got now. A whole lot of wires around that little axle to keep it against the, the shock there. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Well, we're on our way again. The only problem is we're going to eat some very bad roads from here today. But it's getting late. We're going to get to somewhere we can sleep. Wow. Anton is the real MacGyver. It's after 12. Been in the road since 8 o'clock this morning. Been a hell of a day. We had to drive for hours and hours and less than 40 kilometers per hour. And at the end of the day, the steering rod actually broke off. I had to do a MacGyver on that as well. Made it to Coying Nas, where we've been trying to get all day. Oh, at last. Light at the end of the tunnel. So, the guy says, no, won't get help here. You need to get to Clancy, which is another 70 k from there. So at 30 to 35 kilometers per hour all the way to Clancy, work it out. That's more than two hours extra. So I'm dead. We parked here in a shopping center, parking bay in Clancy, to be, and then we'll take it to the engineering firm tomorrow to have it welded. Talk tomorrow again. Good morning. Bit of a restless sleep. Unbelievable how the cars move around in this town the whole night. I think they're smuggling with diamonds or something. Of course there was never a moment of silence. Having a quick cup of tea, waiting for the shops to open up and then we're going to an engineering shop to have that piece welded up and hopefully get going again. So the damage ended up being so bad that the steering arm broke off and I had to make a sprint out of a tire lever for that. But it took us about a hundred k's further. He's tapping it there for me. Thank you, Ferry. He's a local that went out of his way. We're in Donny Junior, Donny Senior's workshop. So they're going to weld this whole setup together for me. There's the problem. It's poor welding. This thing came loose because it was welded terribly. Yes, sir. And this time it wasn't me. But that's what a welding job should look like. All fixed and ready to go. Solid as hell. Two amazing people and did a proper job. I am very pleased. That's what Rainer just loves doing, snooping around for a little. <laughs>
for rocks and stones and shells. Have you brushed your teeth yet? <laughs> Back, ready to go. Once Renda has put her face on, remember to open a vent or a win window in front. We must have some airflow coming in to build up pressure in the van, otherwise, you're going to have a disaster of dust at the back there when you're done. Okay. Now, all trip so far I've done in 4x2, and I wanted to see where my limits are. Got stuck now. First going to try 4x4. That doesn't help, I'll have to down the pressure of the tires. Oh, shivert. I'm not in 4x4, I forgot the lock. I forgot to lock the front wheels. I guess that should be beer and take off a gloss comb. And that's like you say, okay, now we can get off. Now we can take off the slack. We take off the slack. Oh, sorry. was right there in the beginning. This is one of the other camps, Wasabai. This one's actually got a very nice beach as well. We're not going to sleep here, we just stopped here quickly. There's actually 10 of these camps in the reserve. About 2 or 3 kilometers apart, maybe. Yeah. Some of them maybe more. We slept in the reserve last night, but tonight we're going to be sleeping outside the reserve. And we're going to be wild camping. Tonight and tomorrow night we will be doing that. You see all these dig marks in the middle yet? The car's just that's just like dragging the
sort of relax day in a while. Yeah. It's just hectic and racing and working and stressing. So today you can sit back and yes. have a bit of and have a proper shower. Can have a shower now and lunch. of the special number plates. Can you see why? Oh, that was our last night at the beachfront again. Now we're going a bit inland towards Crystal. There's a warm bath, mineral bath there. Yeah, this is the cold swimming pool. The water is just amazing. I can hang around it for hours. I'm coming back to night store. We're going to show you a little bit of an inside a secret. So what's happening here is that water there is cold mountain stream water. This water here goes into this uh, hot spring water, water mixes and then yeah you've got a lukewarm pool. Oh back home! <laughs> I love fun! I love fun! <laughs> Bye, <Bye-bye. laughs>